Welcome, guys. So, let's jump into a full moon read. I am using the Moonology Oracle card deck here. So, let's get into it. We got a full moon in Cancer. And we know cancers can be kind of, um, it could be a sensitive time, an emotional time. Cancers are very um, nurturing, loving, caring. So I'm curious to see what this full moon energy is bringing in. So let's take a look. Give me a full moon message, please. All right, so it looks like at the bottom of the deck, guys, we got a full moon in Libra, which is a win-win a win-win outcome in forecast. All right. So it looks like a situation is a win-win, okay? It looks like you had to make some adjustments, though, in order for you to get the outcome that you were looking for but it looks like a cycle could be closing um and you're getting good results oh it looks like we got the new moon in libra a new romantic cycle begins okay all right and then we got balsamic moon a time for healing all right let's get one more look at that beautiful purple color gosh that's beautiful yeah, look, luck is on your side. And if you've been seeing the number seven a lot lately, I know that I've been seeing it like crazy. Um, that's definitely an indication that luck is definitely on your side. All right, so we got surrender to the divine. This says full moon. So this says surrender to the divine. And we also have full moon and Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. Okay. All right. So I really feel like the energy is very good. I feel like a lot of y'all have already released or beginning to release something. Um, and it looks like the outcome is going to be on in your favor, on your side. You got a lot of luck energy. And some of y'all are even starting something romantic. Okay. All right, so I, oh, oh, we got some jumpers. We got some jumpers. All right, we ready to talk. Let me shuffle up a little bit. Let me buckle up first. <laughs> Let me buckle up first. Show me some of this full moon energy for the collective, please. So we got the will at the bottom of the deck here. So things are definitely starting to turn in your favor. I feel like something was a little stressful because we got a five of swords and two of pentacles and the devil and the seven of swords. A lot of manipulation going on. Could be involving a king of wands or a Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, is I feel like that cycle has closed. We got the world right here and the three of cups. So it's like you're celebrating that that cycle is closed. Okay. I feel I do see a lot of discontent, boredom, not being satisfied. Um, but it looks like that energy is shifting. Okay. So there is a shift happening here. There is some type of shift that is happening. All right, I see with the Eight of Pentacles here, some of you may be looking for a job. If you're looking for a job, it looks like that's going to go in your favor. You're going to find the job of your dreams. Um, 
We got that Ten of Swords right here with that Hermit. Some of you may have got laid off or resigned from a job. I see that um, the more applications you put in, the more you put in your resume, you're going to get a, a job that's going to work out more in your favor. I feel like at one point in time, when it comes to love, maybe someone wasn't putting in any effort or putting in um, putting in any work. Maybe it was one sided. Some of y'all have been looking for the truth about a person. The truth already has been revealed or is getting ready to be revealed about this person this person has a dark side okay with this double energy here this person has like a hidden side to them i feel like you've been searching for answers or clues trying to figure this person out you will be getting some type of clarity something that was being kept in the dark is definitely coming to the light you're getting clarity you're going to get clarity so this full moon is bringing in a lot of um, a lot of messages could be definitely involving a king of wands somebody um, is is not putting in enough somebody's not doing enough and that's the problem this person isn't taking much action they're being lazy okay I'm definitely getting lazy energy um, not putting in any work I see them being called out Until you get better results. Yeah, see the Knight of Wands. This person is like they they come in, then they gone. They there for a minute, then they gone. Like they don't they don't stay for a long time. They don't they try to get in and out as quick as they can. Do they do the less uh the the least that they can. Not putting in the effort. You may be disappointed because you feel like you're doing things on your own. Like you got to do majority of everything by yourself. Okay. You over the heartbreak of the situation. You just don't find it fair that they are just doing the least for some of you this is like dealing with your baby mother or your baby father um husband or wife boyfriend girlfriend um this is in regards to a relationship a connection I feel like this person is having regrets. I feel like you call this person out. Um, you you call their bluff. Now they're regretting. Um, and they're going to be trying to put in effort. But they're going to feel like it's all about the money. Like you're thinking about the money. Somebody saying, don't think that they should have to ask. You should just do it. I clearly see that. Those words clearly spoke. Now, the Ace of Swords, yeah. You're going to find out more. More information is going to come out. Um, more details of how you feel, how this person feels. Um, it's gonna, you're going to get more clarity on this situation. This person is holding themselves back. I'm getting kind of like bummy energy, no lie. Um, this person is holding themselves back. They're spying on you as well. Let's see what your plans is, see what your next move is. Um, you can feel like this person give, is giving you the run around. Um, but you're going to make sure the next time this person comes around that it's not going to be sweet. It's going to be serious business. Um, and otherwise, you're not going to get this person under your attention. You're not going to get this person none of your energy. 
Um, you just feel like if you're you're either going to do this together or I'm going to do it on my own. And I feel like you are very much so capable of handling the situation on your own, but you just don't feel like it's right or fair for you to handle it on your own. So these type of things are coming to the surface. For some of you, it looks like um, there could be someone getting put on child support. There's someone who may be taken to court. Um, something in the lines of that nature. And it looks like things are going to go in your favor. Okay, luck is going to be on your side for sure, for sure. And things is going to work out in your favor. Okay, so that's the message that I got for you guys. I hope this was helpful to someone. If this message resonated with you guys, be sure to leave a thumbs up as well as share with your family and your friends. All right, so until next time, guys, ciao for now.